Start here with what really jumped out with you at the numbers. I mean, we're seeing the shares down about 8%. Obviously, investors were looking for something more. What exactly were they looking for? Well, we've gotten very accustomed to PayPal having some, a few blowout quarters, right, over the last few quarters. Mm -hmm. um, and all of the changes that we've seen in digital payments and e-commerce really taking off since the pandemic have played right into PayPal's hands. We've seen it in user growth, we've seen it in volume growth, and many new services coming on board. Mm -hmm. So we've gotten accustomed to some blowout numbers, and this was an in-line number. I think we have to keep in mind, though, that 2Q of last year was a pretty good quarter for PayPal, unlike most companies. Exactly. So we actually saw sort of the numbers, perhaps the year on year perspective all being borne out a little bit. Also a company that's rounded about 30 percent on the year to date as well, always baked in. But what about areas like Venmo on on the future of payments in between each other as sort of a social end? perspective too. Yeah, and Venmo had some great numbers, 58% growth for Venmo volume, one of the highest quarters for growth that Venmo has posted yet. Um, lots of activity going on in these P2P payment apps. Venmo is growing with just more transactions. They're adding more services. You may have yourselves gotten lots of offers for a, a Venmo credit card mm -hmm. over the last few months. That's doing really well. Mm. Um, and there's been great uptake. It's about 20% of PayPal right now um, and continuing to hum along. I, I am curious about competition here. I, I felt like a few years ago, PayPal, if you wanted to buy something online or do it in a cashless way, it was kind of the only game in town, at least the most reliable way to do it now. Uh, now, of course, Apple Pay has actually finally seemed to get out of its own way. You've even got some of the big name banks that have gotten into this. There are a lot more options out there, and I'm wondering what's sort of the selling point right now for PayPal going forward? PayPal's biggest selling point is the so just the size of its network mm. and its international breadth. No one comes close to PayPal's 400 million active accounts. Mm. Right? Apple Pay is probably around 40 million mm. in the U.S., just to wow. put it in perspective. So PayPal still is pervasive. You add to that 30 million merchant accounts. So you have that two-sided network that gets to be very uh, but, powerful. But that has to say something. I, I, I didn't know that stat there with the 40 million on Apple versus the 400 million on PayPal. Given Apple's dominance as a company and as dominance in terms of its iPhone user base, you would think it would have a little bit more. I, I'm just curious, what is what makes PayPal better, I guess, more or less? Like, why would I use that over Apple if I have an iPhone? A lot of what's made PayPal better just over the last year or so is new services that they've added to the platform. Mm. So you're not just paying a friend or paying online. You can now use your PayPal app or your Venmo app for so many different things, mostly banking kinds of services. Mm. You have debit card, credit card, bill pay. Um, you can do um, crypto investing, um, crypto payments, wow. which is a hot topic. <laughs> and probably pretty soon you can do investing um, as well. Julie, take us there, therefore, because it was the previous record beat that we saw from PayPal because of the cryptocurrency initiative that they had. I fold that into the fact that their old CEO, David Marcus, is now with Facebook. We've just had earnings from Facebook. They had this big grand plan for the DM, which is going to be their focus on cryptocurrencies and narrative. And, and indeed, the pushback that we're getting from Janet Yellen on all of this. Talk to us about the future of crypto within businesses such as PayPal. So PayPal is interested in allowing their users to do whatever they want to do financially online. And increasingly, all of the big banks, all of these payment companies are trying to help investors buy crypto when they want to and essentially interact with it in terms of payments and other kinds of opportunities. So PayPal is right there um, with Bitcoin as well as other cryptos. Um, and they just launched in the first quarter the ability to now pay with crypto. So with its consumer merchant network, you can now pay in a very integrated, easy way. Um, and probably it's one of the first applications to really allow that to happen so seamlessly all through the PayPal wallet.